interesting facts. Archaeopteryx. Archaeopteryx, the first feathered dinosaur known to science. It was first discovered in the 1860s. Archaeopteryx lived in southern Germany 150 to 147 million years ago and was approximately the size of a crow. Scientists are still debating whether Archaeopteryx was a primitive bird or an advanced reptile. Archaeopteryx had teeth similar to crocodile teeth, for example. The plumage of Archaeopteryx was the same as modern birds. Archaeopteryx, like modern birds, loved to eat worms, insects, and small lizards. Avisaurus Avisaurus the Cretaceous is considered the last in the Mesozoic era. It began 145 million years ago and ended 66 million years ago. The middle of the Cretaceous period is considered the heyday of the winged dinosaur. Avisaurus is one of those. Little is known about him, but I'll tell you all that I know. During the Cretaceous period, the insect population increased significantly. Avisaurus belongs to the genus of insectivorous dinosaurs. The Avisaurus lived with many giant dinosaurs in North America. Avisaurs were located around the Rocky Mountains in swamps and forests near the sea. Quetzalcoatlus <laughs> Quetzalcoatlus a predatory flying dinosaur that lived 69 to 65 million years ago. Quetzalcoatlus lived in the coastal territory of North America, weighed up to 250 kilograms, reached a height of 5 meters, and was 7 meters long with a wingspan up to 11 meters. The bones of Quetzalcoatlus were mostly hollow, which reduced its weight. It's thought it might have had hair on its body to help retain heat. Skull material shows that Quetzalcoatlus had a very sharp and pointed beak. The unusually long, stiffened necks helped support the heavy head and beak. Quetzalcoatlus led a semi-terrestrial lifestyle. It rarely flew. Its wings were not suitable for active flight. The Quetzalcoatl caught warm air currents and glided. Quetzalcoatl moved on the ground on four limbs quite quickly. He ate fish, small animals, and carrion. Brachiosaurus. Brachiosaurus, a herbivorous dinosaur weighing about 50 tons, lived in the Jurassic period. The Brachiosaurus had a small head, could be up to 13 meters tall, 8 meters of which was the neck itself. The front legs of the Brachiosaurus were longer than the hind legs. In appearance, it looked like a giraffe, only the neck is not as vertically angled, but more forward at an angle of 45 degrees. Brachiosaurus lived in North America and Africa. In Berlin, at the Humboldt Museum, there is a skeleton of a 12-meter Brachiosaurus named after Mount Tendaguru in Tanzania. The baby Brachiosaurus most likely took about 10 years to reach the size of an adult. They probably lived up to 70 years. Judging by the numerous remains of the Brachiosaurus, paleontologists suggest that these dinosaurs lived in families or groups of up to 20 individuals. Edmontosaurus Edmontosaurus lived in the Cretaceous period. Edmontosaurus reached a length of 13 meters, a height of 4 meters, and weighed about 3 tons. They ate fern and coniferous vegetation. Edmontosaurus were bulky lizards with a thickened, long tail with a duck-like beak. In the depths of the mouth of the Edmontosaurus were more than a thousand teeth, united by vertical teeth. When chewing, the teeth moved back and forth. Edmontosaurus walked on four legs, but was comfortable on two also. Edmontosaurus lived in packs and were often the victims of hungry T-Rexes. Hadrosaurus 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 was the first dinosaur discovered in North America. Thanks to this find, it was proved that dinosaurs could walk not only on four, but also on two legs. Hadrosaurus fed on leaves and lived in herds. In this way, they could somewhat protect themselves from predators. 
Hadrosaurus could reach speeds of up to 50 kilometers per hour. When meeting a predator, they would beat them with their hind legs, like today's kangaroo. The Hadrosaurus reached 12 meters in length, 5 meters in height, and had a body weight of up to 7 tons. The Hadrosaurus had a beak similar to a duck and a huge number of teeth, some as many as a thousand. Many Hadrosaurus laid their eggs together with others in the herd. The young were then protected by their mothers for a long time. Allosaurus Allosaurus Here's what we know about this predator. The Allosaurus has appeared in many feature films, for example, And the Thunderstruck, The Lost World, and Jurassic World 2. The average Allosaurus reached 8.5 meters in length and 3.5 meters in height and weighed about 1.5 tons. It walked and ran on powerful hind legs. The front legs were relatively small. The massive skull was balanced by a long and heavy tail. Most of the remains have been found in North America. Allosaurus hunted alone primarily, but to attack larger dinosaurs, they could unite in flocks. The hind legs were four-fingered and the front three-fingered with sharp claws, which helped grab the victim. Eoraptor. Eoraptor, one of the earliest dinosaurs in the Triassic. The first Eoraptor fossils were discovered in 1991 in Argentina. The name Eoraptor means moon, dawn, predator. The front legs of the Eoraptor were shorter than the hind legs. It was about one meter long and weighed about 10 kilograms. The Eoraptor had many small, sharp teeth, which suggests that he was omnivorous. It would eat insects, small animals, carrion, and stolen eggs. It could move as fast as a rabbit. Deinonychus. <coughs> Deinonychus. Deinonychus lived in the early Cretaceous, about 110 million years ago. Deinonychus translates as terrible claw, thanks to a large hooked claw on its hind legs. Deinonychus reached 3.5 meters in length and weighed more than 70 kilograms. He had 70 blade-sharp teeth, and he had the alligator-like power of a bite. Deinonychus could reach speeds of up to 40 kilometers per hour and maneuvered at high speed using his tail. Deinonychus hunted in a pack. They could wait in an ambush and then pounce on a herbivorous dinosaur lagging behind their pack. The Deinonychus lived mainly in the forests, but some, it appears, had lived on the open plains. Dacosaurus Dacosaurus Here's what we think we know about this marine, crocodile-like dinosaur. Dacosaurus spanned the meeting of two periods, Jurassic and Cretaceous. Dacosaurus was a fully marine species adapted for hunting large marine creatures. Dacosaurus had flippers. The front flippers were shorter than the back ones. The tail is lower down. Because of its structure, the Dacosaurus could reach great speed. In today's seas, the Dacosaurus might resemble the killer whale. It was the main marine predator at the time. Dacosaurus could reach four to five meters in length. Elasmosaurus. Elasmosaurus, giant plesiosaurus of the late Cretaceous. Elasmosaurus, a lizard with thin plates, lived 85 to 65 million years ago. Elasmosaurus remains have been found in Kansas, Russia, and Japan. Elasmosaurus reached a length of more than 14 meters. Eight meters was the neck. The Elasmosaurus head was tiny compared to the body, but had a wide mouth with sharp teeth that resembled thorns. Elasmosaurus could catch the fastest fish of that time. From time to time, Elasmosaurus swallowed small pebbles to grind leftover food. In the stomach of one Elasmosaurus, scientists found more than 250 such pebbles. Ichthyosaur. Ichthyosaur. The first ichthyosaur appeared in the early Triassic about 250 million years ago. 
Ichthyosaur swam faster than other marine reptiles thanks to fast and strong tail movements. They could probably even jump out of the water like dolphins. It is thought ichthyosaurs could dive to a depth of 1.5 kilometers or more. Remains of ichthyosaurs have been found all around the world. All species of ichthyosaurs were viviparous, and there could be more than a dozen offspring in the family. The main enemies of ichthyosaurs were sharks, plesiosaurs, and crocodilomorphs.